Hello! Hello, Star Wars Celebration! Dave Filoni and John Favreau! John is to, to me and the support he's given me to, to even dare to, to do one of the things George always told me to do, which is dare to be great. And it's a lot harder than you think, but when you're supported by great people, you can. And so I, I think that's, if I've done anything good, it's because of the people supporting Amazing. around me, for sure. Because of the fans, you know, these are characters that they just, they don't go away. They just, they stay with us because you love them and we love them too. So thank you for all the support of them over the years. Rosario Dawson! Rosario Dawson, everybody! And she brought a friend, Chopper! <laughs> As a fan, it's been really incredible to be, you know, part of Mandalorian and Boba, obviously, but to have this show be a continuation of that adventure, that journey that you've seen her on has just been exceptional. And I'm so excited for all of you to be able to see where she is now. Ahsoka has that very strongly for herself as well. Her relationship with Ezra is something that's really powerful. And so I think that's just always top of mind for her and is probably what continues to drive her is just that feeling of I can do more. Um, I can help, I can be of service. The team working together on all of these different shows for so long, I've never witnessed anything like it before with a crew. They just, they are family and they know each other really well and they just, they just cut the red tape and immediately go, okay, we're shooting this tomorrow, we're gonna need this, and give you a heads up, and you know, and they just, it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful team. Natasha Lou Bordizzo and Mary Elizabeth Winston! And a final sack, no! John, Dave, have you brought anything else? You guys will be the only people. You'll be the only ones that get to see this. <laughs> so enjoy, uh, enjoy this remix. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty amazing. <laughs> That was pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Who is playing Grand Admiral Thrawn? Can you say? Well, just meet him. He's here. Should we just meet him? <laughs> Where you meet as Grand Admiral Thrawn, Lars By now, Chopper has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it from Ahsoka. Thank you so much. See you next time. To come out and the roar that you're welcomed with from this fandom is, I mean, it's a family to be a part of. I, I, I feel their level of excitement. Um, to have the feedback from them, to actually have the details that they get into, because I watched the trailer and I watched it a couple times, but I didn't even see all the things that they saw. And, you know, it, it just is, it's so exciting to finally be at this point now where we can talk about it because. It's been tough to hold this stuff back, and I, I, I appreciate that these moments are kind of kept, you know, that we do have these surprises that we can reveal. I think we give, we embellish, and we, we share too much too soon often, and I think it was just, it's really nice to be able to give the fans who really, truly love it a real big slice of the pie, like beforehand. I think it's, it's nice to be able to serve it to them before we give it to everybody else. This one, we finally really got to kind of dig deep and we kind of get to really explore these relationships and, and I think it's really powerful. You know, these are, these are really accomplished, really talented, skilled warriors. And this is a leaderful moment. You know, like ah Ahsoka might be, you know, front and center on the poster, but this is a team and it's a dream team. For most of us getting to see our trailer because, you know, we're all new to seeing any footage as well. Um, so it was really exciting to get to see the reveals. You know, maybe we knew they were coming, but still we hadn't actually seen the way they were going to look on screen. Like, you know, getting to see Thrawn, you know, the first day we saw the back of his head and then today we got to see, you know, to see his face and the way that he looks in the big screen was just so cool and you know seeing Sabine on her motorcycle just there was such such an adrenaline rush to it all um, so it was really special to get to see it with such a great crowd I mean it was incredibly overwhelming and I think emotional for for all of us you know when you're just like wow we've done something that people really care about and they're really excited about and and that doesn't happen all the time you know certainly not to this level I mean Star Wars is a whole other level of care and joy and and intensity of love that people have for it it's incredibly satisfying and I think you know I have so much love for both of those women and for their characters and um, I just think, you know, it's so great to have a show that's sort of female-led like this, but it's really kind of, it's not really about that. It's about how capable they are and their strengths and how they work together and how much respect they have for one another um, and the complexities of their relationships. Um, and, you know, it, it sort of transcends gender. It's Star Wars. And each of these characters sort of, you know, exemplifies Star Wars in their own way. Um, and I, I love that. We don't get to see anything early, so we're just really experiencing it with the fans. And, I mean, I don't know if it was captured or anything, but it, every time we all ran out from the panel to sit on the floor and watch it so we could get a good view. And it's such an amazing way to watch this footage for the first time, like on this giant screen, amazing sound system, and like thousands of fans. It's just, it's awesome. That was the highlight for sure. Just hearing the noise backstage was already intimidating. I was turning to like Ivana and said like, so, so you're playing bass and I'm playing lead? Because it felt like you're going into a rock concert. When you're there and you're working, so uh, you know everybody is working. So you're caring for each other and all this sort of stuff. There is a you, you're in you're in it, but not until you then put it together with all the other elements of these genius people post production and stuff. And you're going like, wow, and that and that brings that kid in you out again. Filoni and Favreau have this unique 
quality, well, rare, shall I say, very, very rare quality, that they have the ability to facilitate for every individual to bring the best of themselves to work. And in whatever department, in whatever level of, of production that they are involved in, you matter. And they facilitate, and if you need something, you can ask for it. And it's a collaboration on all levels and in all departments. It's so rare. Star Wars has been part of so many people's childhoods, and that lives within them still. And it's very hopeful, I think, our show and what Dave strives for it to be. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a blessing to be working with them and working with our incredible crew. We are just as excited as them. We're sitting right next to them in the audience. It's, um, it's a collective experience, especially it was meaningful to see Lars walking out on stage and people reacting to him and then him sort of sitting down. I saw him taking it in and it brought a tear to my eye because I know how meaningful it is for each one of us. It was just electrifying. It was magical and um, it's just, I can't wait till the show airs in August because we really get to show uh, the big, incredible adventure that this show is about. And, you know, it's, it's mythical, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's everything you can want in, in a Star Wars project. And uh, most important, it has heart. And, uh, you know, Star Wars is about hope, you know, and uh, I think the fans are just going to just eat this all up. I really do. What was really beautiful was to be able to work with Dave, John, the other directors, and to really understand this, this, this background that I wasn't aware of even about her and that we're all going to discover. And uh, that's where I'm really excited. And uh, the scope of this, just the action alone, I, it's just going to it's just going to knock people out of their seats, I think. At least I, I think it would. I'm excited about it. It was very emotional. Uh, and, uh, you yeah, know, I was sort of blown away. They're very caring about their fans. Yeah. They're very caring about and very, very knowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable about who are we doing this for. It's always fun to play a baddie. But, it's, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just always fun to play characters where you understand what they're driven by. Coming back here was so much high quality work and such a variety of things that we're talking about and showing people. That's what's been, I think, so rewarding because it's been, you know, it's been a process over time where we're realizing even in 2016, we brought Rogue One and this time, I can't even count how many things we've, we're talking about and panels we've got going and it's, it's just, it's amazing. It's been a joy that I've been watching unfold for quite a while. And Dave is more than capable. And I think George recognized that. I recognize that. And now he does. You know, he's been able to own that and believe in himself and take that next step. And I think it shows. You know, he needed that confidence. That's all he was looking for. He needed the power of the force. <laughs> this is a character I've known for a long time that I've imagined what would this be like that. I've wanted to put on the screen in, in this way and apply uh, some of the filmmaking techniques that I've learned over the years from so many different talented people and just movies I enjoyed and watched growing up. So I never thought I would get to do this sort of thing. Uh, I'm very glad that I took the chance and did it and dove in and I'm really happy that people enjoy watching it that, that you know, because it's, it's a challenge and uh, I'm just really glad that she's a character that resonates. People are happy to see this character come to life and uh, because they've known him for so long in so many ways. And, you know, I wanted today, you know, the special moment where only people here got to see his face and his eyes and the way he is. Um, that's something you give to the fans because they made the journey and uh, something they'll have to talk about. But it's, it's just special for all of us and we're so glad that it was so well received.